Hey guys, D Mike here for the final episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We have four stars left to get. As you can see, I went back to the Flip Out Galaxy and the Boss Blitz and got both of those Comet Medals. I will tell you that the Boss Blitz Comet Medal was underneath the King Caliente fight. And the Flip Out one, near where those spikes are at the end, there's a tricky long jump that I had to make. So that's it. But we're going to be turning, turning double time. And speaking of double time, let's get on the double and, you know, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Like the video, helps it get noticed and not buried in the YouTube's algorithms. It all helps out and I appreciate every one of you in the process. Okay, so this is probably going to be horrible. I also had a bit of a snafu with my recording software, so I had to essentially redo where I was up to this point. Just the last episode, really. Got a bunch of additional spare lives, which I learned you can do. If you go inside the face ship, there are Lumas in there. You can give them coins. Oop. You can give them coins or you can give them star bits. 100 coins, 30 star bits to roll these uh, one-up cubes. And in doing so, you can get a pretty pretty healthy amount of lives. So I went ahead and did that. I don't really have any use for the coins, and I guess that that's really the only... Oops. That's kind of a cool background. That's really the only additional use I can imagine for lives. Or sorry, coins. I don't know I said lives. The only additional use I can think of for coins... You have the in-level coin Lumas, but after the fact, I think that's it. So, oh, come on, are you serious? <laughs> that's too bad. It's a good thing I've got all those lives, because I've got a feeling that these final four stars are going to be a doozy. They kind of should be. They're the prankster comets of the final four galaxies in the game. Ooh, I almost messed it up. <laughs> I almost messed it up a third time. Wouldn't that have been fun, viewers? Don't you love don't you love that? But the game, as you can see, is very generous with lives, especially in this particular star. Ooh. No. Okay. This isn't particularly tough. I think I'm just being a little too bold. Like a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Okay. So let's do this. Let's get it right. Let's do this correctly. Oh boy. Oh no. Ooh. Not sure if the geometry saved me on that one or if it uh, did the opposite of that. But this is a little, little anxiety inducing. I'm not sure at what point on the. Ooh, no, no. I'm not sure at what point on these uh, logs or whatever these are that I'm gonna start slipping and sliding. I will say though, can confirm, I don't think, no matter what these four final stars throw at me, I don't think anything could make me as unhappy as the, okay. As the purple coin collecting ball mission from the previous episode, holy smokes, I hated every second of that. It was actually funny, I didn't show this, but I was just experimenting to see what would happen and there actually is a kind of a weird ghost Rosalina that will pop up if you mess up too many times. And it's basically like, hey, you need help, dummy? And uh, so what it does, it offers to essentially autoplay the star for you. But if you take that route and you autoplay the star, it doesn't actually count as getting a star. It's called a bronze star, which I thought was really weird. But obviously, I didn't do that. I mean, I, I, I looked into it for a second just because I wanted to see what would happen, but it does not give you credit for the actual star itself. So it's kind of useless, I would say. Get there. Man, this is... Oh, no. Probably a good idea to grab these lives when you can. Oh, have I jumped too far? Please make it... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
So far, so good. Yeah, this is... This star's pretty intense. You gotta really, uh... Be on your game. And they don't give you another checkpoint here? That's kind of mean. Oh, this feels like this is spinning even faster. This one might have been spinning at... The same speed as the other ones, but because it's the double time... It has been upgraded. No! Okay. Well, this is fun, right? We got four of these to do today. Viewers. Oh, hopefully these are reasonable. We will find out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to assume that the final final round of blocks that we're spinning, we're spinning, oh gosh. Oh, oh, wait. I'm, <laughs> the game tricked me on that one. It's like, hey, you're alive. No, you're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yeah, those, those freebie one-ups that I, well, I mean, they're not free. I, I bought them with my hard-earned coins are probably going to come very handy. I'm trying to be mindful and grab the, oh my gosh, the one-ups when I get to them, but it doesn't really help if I don't. Okay. Viewers, are we having fun yet? Oh, I don't know what my threshold is for these final stars, but I will tell you what, I was getting a little, a little uh, frustrated with that spinning ball one, and I think the reason for it wasn't because it was necessarily that hard. I mean, it kind—I of, mean, it was tough. I'll give—I'll give the developers credit. It was definitely a tough star to do, but I think part of it was just that I could not figure out the mechanics very well. I was having trouble getting my Wiimote to cooperate, and you're gonna say, "Wow, D Mike, that sounds like an excuse." Um, I wish it was an excuse because it would have helped me to finish the uh, star sooner. All right, two lives back to back. Let's slow it down with a Luma spin. Yeah, that's kind of mean that they don't give you any way to catch your breath. But maybe that's part of the challenge. All right. Ooh, I feel like I'm on a, uh, a level of like Ninja Warrior and I just caught to like the next section where I could take a break and like shake my hands out. All right. Oh boy. Okay. There's another life. I feel like that one might be a trap. I'm gonna skip it. Oh. No, the orange! The orange! No! Alright, find your center there, Mario. No. Whoa. Okay, I was not expecting to do that. Everything is pure chaos. Oh boy, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, a little premature. We finished a little prematurely this time. Okay. Deep breaths, D Mike. Okay. <laughs> Not that deep of a breath. We will figure this out eventually. And you'll see it live. In front of a studio audience. Wouldn't that be weird? I mean, I'm sure that's probably a thing. I guarantee that there are some sort of YouTube collective who have done like, um, like a let's play or a whatever you want to call it in front of real people instead of just the internet. I mean, you're all real people, but are you really real? I can't see you and take your money. The idea of that is interesting. I mean, I'm sure it's probably great from a financial perspective. I bet those people probably love it, referring to the people making the content. We're not quite there yet, viewers. We have a little ways to go before you can come meet me in person. That's, that's a privilege, so... You gotta keep subscribing and liking the videos to make all that happen. That's how you do it. That's the, uh... That's the path. Alright, this is kind of weird. Ooh. Okay. We'll go this way this time. Yeah, it's these orange ones that keep messing with me. Oh, I... I tried to wall jump. I don't think you can off those. Alright, only almost ten minutes in. And one of the things that I guarantee that I'm going to have to do at some point is the Daredevil Run boss gauntlet. When I didn't, you know, have any pressure, I wasn't commentating, I was just searching for the Comet Medal. Okay. I was able to actually do that one pretty quickly, but as you know, that's not what's going to be happening this time around. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm feeling, you know, 5 out of 10 on confidence. Pretty good. 
you know, nice average. So it's probably, I mean, five out of 10 on a scale sounds average, but that's actually like kind of feels below average to me. No, 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 Mario, no. Okay. I am burning through these lives, but like I said, worst case scenario, I don't think I'm going to be, <laughs> I shouldn't even say this. I don't think that I'm going to burn through 13 lives on this mission alone. And if I do, obviously I would game over, which is unfortunate, but in the process, I would wind up going back to those Lumas that I didn't even know they existed. So nice little surprise. All right, let's spin around one more time. If you wind up jumping a little bit too soon, it does help to kind of use your Luma spin to center yourself a little bit. It's kind of hard, oof. It's kind of hard to feel those moments when it's gonna be a little bit too early or if you're gonna be clipping the one of the edges of what you're doing. But I guess like the Luma spin does kind of give you the little bit of uh, a breather. Oh boy. A little bit of a breather. Ugh. Wish you could do it more frequently though. And the thing that will get you. <laughs> Why does it do that? It didn't even let. Mm. I would have enjoyed more Luma spin on that one. All right. How many more tries in me do I have before I just show the the results here? That's what this episode's gonna become. <laughs> All four of these stars are just gonna be me cutting ahead. I would like to do it on screen, in one take, for all of you. I believe in myself. Surprisingly, okay. So we're gonna keep at, no! I feel bamboozled, that's too bad. I'm gonna say, for brevity, two, two more good tries. This one and one more. And then you will see the results of the cake as it's been baked. It's just, it's a lot to ask viewers, okay? This game for children. It's getting pretty tricky. Nope. Oof. That one was death. This is death. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's tough to know when it's safe and like when the physics of the game are going to have you start slipping away onto the side of each of these weird platforms. Oh, why do I subject myself to the... Oh, no. Oh, whew. That looked deadly. So I'm kind of like running around a cylinder, minus the whole part that it's not a cylinder. Rectangular prism for you math magicians. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta be quick too. You gotta. Oh, I can hear the star too. Oh. Oh no. I didn't make it. All right. Final try. But you see, all the way through. Probably should have done this maybe a try or two sooner, but. I'm trying to increase the suspense for myself. Maybe it'll motivate me to be more better. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? Ooh. Still gotta be... No, no, no. Yeah, this is just a very anxiety-inducing experience. Wouldn't say I necessarily care for it. Ooh, that looked really bad. It's just that moment right when I'm not sure how soon I can jump without sliding off the other side. These bricks are apparently greased up with like baby oil or something. Too much varnish. Whoa! I lost focus there for a second. I was like, where am I going? Whoa, getting trapped, getting trapped. Getting trapped. All right, one more. Oh, it's at the end of this one. Come on. 
Hang in there, Mario. Hang in there. Oh, this is cruel. Oh, thank goodness. Final try. Ooh, it only took 15 minutes. These view videos are usually a little over 30. <laughs> Yikes. I don't think it's going to get any easier, unfortunately. The final prankster comment has appeared. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> nope. I have no time for you, Lubba. We have to collect the final stars. The stone so oh boy. Is this gonna be like double time? This is gonna be miserable. Or like purple coins. What horrors await us, viewers? Tox oh no. Speed run? Do I have to collect silver stars? Is this shorter? No. Everything moves faster? You get 20 seconds. At least this one forces me to be quick. Oh no. <laughs> Good start! We're in a bit of a time crunch. Okay. So... Okay, oop. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Feel like I need another clock soon. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was actually doing alright. This one being a timed mission, hopefully I'll be able to finish it faster just by virtue of the rules. Them's the rules, viewers. I can stop getting stuck on the geometry? The, oh, okay. Can't really see what I'm doing. Alright, so... Looks like that went better than last time. Oh, he stepped on my toes. What a little jerk. I feel like that's the one that I gotta just grab that life and keep running for my life. Yeah, okay. Well, still getting stuck on stuff. But this one, I think... This one might actually be more manageable than the last one, so... I'm gonna wait for this big boy to come rolling past and then run up as fast as I can. Hopefully there's a clock in the corner. There is. Beautiful. Alright, so we gotta run after this guy. Long jump across. We will use this as our little break period. So I think this guy comes back. So we will sneak underneath, sneak right past him. All right. Yeah, this is like infinitely easier compared to the last one. So bless that. That was a three minute star. Way better than the last time. Essentially giving me more wiggle room for the final two that are probably going to make me question my mental health. All right, great. So far, so good. Yeah. That's right, Mario. Two more stars to go, viewers. Savor it. The penultimate star, 119. Actually, you know what? The boss blitz. Let's save the boss blitz for, for the finale. We'll do that as the finale, because I've got a feeling I'm going to really screw that one up a lot. It just seems more climactic that way. All right, so what could you possibly do to this one to make it worse? Cosmo, oh no. I had a feeling. If this is just adding cosmic clones to this, I think it's reasonable to not be the worst thing ever, but we'll see. I don't know when they get added. Probably when it starts to get difficult. There it is. The cosmic clone coming in to ruin our day. And I'm assuming they can just jump to the platforms, of course. 
That's fair. You gotta really stay ahead of him, though. Avoid the speed rays. Okay, so far so good. Oh no. I'm not entirely sure what these boys are supposed to be. Little pea hats or whatever they are. Pea hats that had a little bit too much to eat. Now that. Oh boy. What have I done? No. Oh. oh no. Stop it. Quit. Quit it. Whew. Okay. Take a deep breath. We're doing okay. All right. Two checkpoints on our first try. You'd love to see it. Let's grab this coin. If I have a second, great. So this is actually where the, um, what am I doing? I'm actually doing this just to buy time. This is where the Comet Metal was in this area. Oh, man, the timing on that was tight. All right. It was right in this area, so. Oops. Actually, I think this might work. Nope. <laughs> that was a pretty good first try, though. If I can do this mission before the 25 minute mark, I can save the... Okay. Oh, am I dead? No. I can save the remaining time for the boss gauntlet, the finale. It wasn't intended to be the finale, mind you. Oh, no. Oh, that can kill you. Double time. That spiked right in the buns, Mario. I'm sorry, my dude. Avoid the spiders. Can't be taking damages here. Oh, no. <laughs> well, at least we got a, uh, a life out of it. No! Oh, my gosh. Did they change the timing on those spikes? This is literally the right at the end of this, too. Need to stop being a goober. Nope. <laughs> it helps if you don't brick yourself into outer space. All right. Yeah, this one. I didn't figure this one would be as tough. I don't. I still don't. Oh boy. Can't. Don't. Uh. Yeah got trapped in there a little bit. Downside of this one is those spikes are very unforgiving. You don't really get iframes to save yourself. Hang in there, Mario. Oh, no. How did I get there the first time? The offset of the spikes has really thrown me off. Really big pain in my butt. Well, you can't be doing that, Mario. Yeah, so much for that 25 minute mark. It's coming up hot. I don't think I'm gonna manage it. That could have you go away. Wait, this might be good. All right. So we have somehow made it. Not 100% sure how. Uh, it doesn't let you go back. You gotta push off hard from that small blue part. You gotta really push it. All right. Oh, excuse you. I'll take your your lunch money. Give me that back. All right, maybe maybe this will be advantageous. And we're dead. <laughs> Three quick. Three quick butt stabbings in a row. I can almost guarantee though that there is gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a Daredevil Comet. Ooh, nice. I guess that kind of worked out for me, huh? Can take that, all right. Gotta push off really hard. There we go. Get out of here. All right. Did I get another 25 minute mark? Oh, I just missed it by like a couple seconds. 
at least on my recording, there's also going to be an intro on in this video, so... There's that. Oof. Okay. So we've got like 10-ish minutes to make this a reasonable episode. A reasonable finale episode. With the final four stars, the only four stars that are definitely left in this game. Okay. Alright, here we go. The final star in this game, viewers, it's the boss blitz. Let's do it. Grab each other's hands. Let's sing some kumbaya. If this is not a daredevil comment, I will be 100% shocked. Oh, it's a speed run. Okay, that's actually better. Because I guarantee I would have... I would have really screwed up a, uh, a Daredevil run. That actually would have been really mean. I'm gonna do these six bosses in a row. Only one hit. That's brutal. Speed run is manageable. Now, where are the clocks, though? How much time do we get? Five minutes? This might be one where you just have to do the gauntlet as fast as you can. So, first up is Baby PD. A regular PD? I don't know. I'm not sure about the of the prana plant species oops okay great all right that's pretty good pretty good first fight oh not done yet <laughs> pretty good three-fourths of the first fight okay he's dead finally just die already 13 seconds pretty good like I said I got a pretty good dose of these fights when I did the Comet Metal Search, which is underneath this platform. Very sneaky, I guess I wasn't expecting there to be one, but you know, the game just likes to throw me some curveballs, you know, especially when they're on fire. All right, so the Caliente fight, once again, not too bad. One of the easier fights, I would say, of the group. Ugh, missed the cycle, that's bad. I think the game threw me a bone on that one. Oh, we knocked his crown off. He looks like one of those things called the, uh... The Snorks? Does anybody remember that show? Those weird, like, underwater snorkel creatures? Yeah, that show was cool. Whoa. Ooh, I should not have been given credit for that. Alright. That took about... Uh, math. Of course, I'm on the wrong side of the platform. I don't think it took a full minute. So it's close. All right. Here we go. Giganosaurus Mole. Once again, knock him out of the ground. Smack him right on his fuzzy behind. He will burrow underneath. And he, oh, oh boy. I need a coin. I need a coin. No. Ooh, I thought that hurt me. No. <laughs> oh. PQRS. Here we go. And you guys start this bad boy all the way to the, from the beginning. But you can skip the cutscenes, I think, which is nice. I definitely don't want to do this more than once. Yeah, we can just get right to it. Come on. No dilly dally in here. Oh, he just stops. Where's the... The fiery one at the end would do that. Seems like we got some anger management problems. I do hope, though, that by and large I'll be able to do these fights a little quicker each time. Hopefully not more than once. Did that take me more time? No, that took me 30... 60... I can't do math. I didn't come here to play school viewers. Alright. I came here to make interesting content that you all love. And the door. I don't know which side the final launch star is on. We're going to stay up top, though. Alright. Two green water balloons. He is stomping mad. He's going to get his Hershey Kisses out. Kill the one over here. Nope, we won't. No! Ugh. That's why you got to get rid of at least one of them. Ooh, I'm stuck. 
my Wii Mutt started to go all wonky on me. There we go. Two fights down. Launch star is one door down. Okay. Let's keep it going. Oh, I can't skip this cutscene because I have not beat this baddie yet. He's working his eyebrow game. Let's grab the coin while we can. It's a smart move. A little self-preservation. I don't know if there is a life shroom in this one, but there is a life shroom uh, when you get the Comet Medal. Um, there's a life shroom for the Comet Medal underneath King Caliente's platform in the original version. The regular version. All right, so if you remember this one, we gotta stomp his butt twice. He's gonna come in a little bit quicker. Wait till he surfaces. Boop. He's gonna go back underground. Oops. Missed the cycle. Perfect. Definitely not a problem at all. Let him come back out. There we go. Chase him down. Smack his buns. We've got three minutes to do a Boulder Geist fight and a Fiery Piranha flight. Blah, blah, fight. Not a flight. We are not at a brewery. All right. The Boulder Geist fight, I feel like, is probably the one that's the most manageable for me. This one, see, I feel like I've got a pretty good pulse on it. I've done it a billion times now. And it was a Daredevil Comet in Galaxy 1, for those of you who remember that. Also a fun fight. I don't mind it. It's probably... I think I said this last time, maybe. It's definitely one of the most original Mario Galaxy fights in the Galaxy duology of games although it is a bit strange that they reused it for this game but maybe it's because it's so good they just couldn't resist can you blame them viewers all right that's phase one down see if we can hit our pb swing it into that nasty old jiggler right there Okay. Don't jump off the edge of the platform. That would be devastating. Yeah, this one you gotta just hopefully get out of the way of the hands. Where you can wait till he does that. That animation gives you plenty of space to throw both of the Bob-omb boos into him. I'm not sure if that's exactly what those things are called, but it makes sense, doesn't it? All right, here we go. It's like a pretty perfect fight. Get over here. Bam, done. All right, and the final fight, which I don't know how much time I have, minute and a half. Should be enough time, right? And it's dumb that they put this little intermediate Planetoid. I don't think this will take me a minute and a half, but... And at least it stops during the cutscene. How rude would it be if it didn't? I wouldn't put it past the game, though, to do that. Come on. Alright, let's get this bad boy started. Three hits in a minute and a half. Let's go. Do you believe in me? Alright. So, fiery piranha boy. Oops, I missed. Missed twice. Come back. There we go. That's one hit. Where's the clock at? Very angry. There it is. Minute, minute and ten. This fight's going pretty well, so it's going pretty good unless I royally screw this up, which is entirely possible. Oh man, I would have loved to have had that cycle right there. I also wonder where that coin got to. I heard it. Whoa! All right, come on. Is that it, viewers? We have completed the game. Fiery Piranha. Distinguished star 120 is ours in episode 30 is this episode 29 30 I don't know which one this is episode one of these episodes probably 30 because that would make sense based on the math but I could be wrong because I don't remember how many stars I got this could be uh, is this 31 I don't know I'm gonna stop guessing 
But that's it. Let's take a moment and just reflect on this. We did it. That's a game complete. Oof. It's a lot of hard work. Whoa. Wait, what? Another green one? What's he talking about? A booger? Oh. Why are there two green loons? Is this not the end of the game? What, the? What, 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 what do we got going on over here? First it was you, and then... Cell division happened, and now we have two of you. Even if we have every power star, you still must defeat that monster. Oh. Is this trying to tell me that I need to do the final boss against Bowser again? Is that what this is saying? Yeah, okay. Well, viewers, it appears that we are not done yet. Thought everything was freezing on me for a second, okay. But that will, uh... It's got a white flag. It'll have to happen next time. So, surprise viewers, there's a little more game left. So, we'll have to do that on the next episode. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you next time. Bye.